Mercury in fish? Here are five science-based steps to buy, prep, and eat smart. Step 1. Choose species lower in mercury. From the FDA CARM EPA Best Choices list, think salmon, shrimp, pollock, tilapia, and cod. Aim for variety each week. Step 2. Tuna hack. Canned light tuna is typically much lower in mercury than albacore or white tuna, which can run about three times higher. So keep albacore to occasional servings. Step 3. Size and source. Smaller, younger fish generally accumulate less mercury than large, long-lived predators like shark, swordfish, king mackerel, or big-eye tuna. Those are on the avoid list for sensitive groups. Check local advisories for wild-caught fish. Step 4. Prep reality check. Mercury binds to the fish muscle, so cooking, soaking, rinsing, or trimming won't remove it. Trimming skin and fat helps reduce other contaminants like PCBs, not mercury. Step 5. Set your weekly routine. Most adults should include seafood. Those who are pregnant or breastfeeding should pick lower mercury choices and aim about 8 to 12 ounces per week from the best choices list. How do labs measure mercury? They use methods like cold vapor atomic fluorescence, or ICPMS, to quantify parts per million precisely. Bottom line, pick lower mercury species, limit high mercury predators, use the tuna swap, and keep a steady weekly plan. Comment, fish, and I'll send a one-page chart you can save to your phone.